if you look at the coronavirus, you'll see that there's one peculiar thing about it that makes it so dangerous and so potentially wonderful at the same time. And that is the fact that contagion occurs before symptoms. In other words, someone can become infected Mm. and contagious and shed the coronavirus wherever they go for up to a week before they begin to cough or sneeze or have a fever. And in that time, they're giving it to other people. So on the other hand, we're beginning to realize that we can wear a mask, for example, because we want to protect ourselves from the virus, but that's not loving. Or we can wear a mask not only to protect ourselves, but to protect other people. It could be someone else's grandmother that we will save by wearing a mask and not giving it to her granddaughter who would take it home. So we're beginning to see that our well-being is intertwined with the well-being of others. Are, Are you keeping a social distance because you don't want to get the virus? That's not a social distance, that's a selfish distance. Mm -hmm. Are you keeping the distance because you want to protect other people because you know you might have the virus and you don't want to give them or anyone else the virus? That's a loving distance. So you have a choice. You have a choice to either be in lockdown or love in. 